I welcome you to my world, as today we'll be covering acromegaly, the most infamous victims of the gigantism disease. Acromegaly is a rare condition where the body produces too much growth hormone, causing body tissues and bones to grow more quickly. Over time, this leads to abnormally large heads and feet, as you can see from the images as well as a wide range of other symptoms. From sleep apnea to a heightened risk of cardiovascular disease and kidney disorders. Throughout recent history, many people affected by this condition lead to incredible stories worth listening to. From Maurice Millet, who allegedly inspired Shrek's looks, to Adam Rayner, the man who was both a dwarf and a giant. But first, let's dive into the story of Mary Ann Bevan, the ugliest woman in the world. Mary Ann Bevan wasn't always ugly. Born on the then outskirts of London in the late 19th century, she looked the same as any other young woman of the time and was even considered attractive. That all changed when well into adulthood and a mother several times over, a rare disfiguring disease began to manifest in her. After just a few short years, her beloved husband passed away and so did her beauty. Her features, hands and feet were distorted beyond all recognition and with no other recurse, Bevan made use of her looks to earn a living. What? No, you depraved bastard! She didn't open up an OnlyFans! Bevan entered an ugliest woman contest and endlessly beat over 250 competitors to earn the dubious title. Her victory brought her to the attention of sideshow owners and since her doctor assured her that her condition would only grow worse, she decided to capitalize on it for the sake of her children. Soon, she had regular work in a freak show fair appearing at fairgrounds throughout the British Isles. After mailing the agent a photo taken especially for the occasion, Bevan was invited to join the sideshow at Carney Island's Dreamland Amusement Park, then one of the biggest locations in the world for sideshow performers. As the years passed, Marianne Bevan continued to grind and draw crowds. She succeeded in her goal of providing for her children. In just two years of performing in New York, she earned well over 20,000 pounds roughly equivalent to $1.6 million in 2022. A deserved happy ending for Anne, who passed away at 59 for heart complication brought by acromegaly. The next case baffled me for how crazy it is. This is the story of Adam Rayner, from dwarf to giant. It's unclear if Adam Rayner, whose height was less than 5 feet when he was 21 years old, ever wished that he grow taller, but if he did, his story would be the anecdotal epitome of the expression, be careful of what you wish for. Not much is known about the life of Adam Rayner led in regards to his personal details, as it was his curious and unprecedented medical condition that dominated what's known about him. Born in Graz, Austria, in 1899, Rayner's parents were both of average height. In 1914, he tried to enlist in the army as World War I broke out. Since he was just 4 feet and 6 inches tall, doctors administered a series of tests. They ultimately classified him as a dwarf, and it was determined that he was too small and too weak to be an effective soldier. The only strange thing was that his hands and feet were exceptionally big for his small size. A year later, he grew another 2 inches. In 1920, Rainer was still small, and records show that he was also very thin. At 21 years old, the typical age a person stops growing, it was assumed that Rainer's stature was set for the rest of his life. But then, acromegaly kicked in. Rainer didn't just grow another 2 inches, he started growing many more inches and at an alarmingly accelerated rate, without any signs of slowing down. One decade later, Adam Rainer had grown more than 2 feet, his height 7 feet and 1 inch tall. As seen in individuals like Andrew the Giant, who has also suffered from the condition, symptoms of acromegaly include enlarged hands and feet, which Rayner definitely had. In an addition to that, his face had also elongated due to a protruding forehead and jaw. His lips had become thicker and his teeth had become widely spaced. He has also experienced issues with his spine, as it had increasingly curved sideways during his massive growth spurt. Adam Rayner's health problems only got worse. He began to lose his hearing and went blind in one eye. All the while the curve in his spine had become so severe he had to stay in bed. 
Rainer eventually died when he was 51 years old, at 7 feet and 8 inches tall. Adam Rainer was the only man in history classified as both a dwarf and a giant in the same lifetime. Oh, yo, 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 Maurice, chill! Chill, man, I was going to introduce you in just a second. Damn! Well, today's last case is about Maurice Tillet, as you can see, the real-life Shrek. Perhaps most well-known under the name The French Angel, Maurice Tillet was born in 1903 in the Aro Mountains in Russia to French parents. He was born a completely average and healthy child. He inspired to become an actor and was highly intelligent allegedly speaking 14 languages and being quite gifted in prose. However, in his 20s, Maurice developed acromegaly. Tillet was left with a unique appearance that, in many ways, would shape his life later on. Maurice aimed at becoming a lawyer, and as such, he completed a law degree at the University of Toulouse. Because of his deep voice and his altered physical appearance, he soon decided that it was unlikely that he could have succeed as a lawyer. An old friend was part of the US Wrestling Association, fascinated by Tillet's unique appearance, convinced him to become a professional wrestler as he thought that Tillet would be a major draw. When he migrated to the United States, he became better known as the French Angel, and he drew in crowds because of his unique appearance and skill. Shrek's story was actually based on Maurice. Apart from his obvious resemblance with his looks, he has also married an extremely beautiful woman named Olga. In the 1940s, in Boston, Tillet became a main event, who drew large audiences in. His popularity increased over the years, and he even had 19 consecutive months in which he was not beaten in a single match. Tillet's career was not only monumental because of his fantastic crowds that he would draw, but also because of his skill. He became an American Wrestling Association World Heavyweight Champion from May 1940 until May 1942, and even after that, he reappeared with Boston-based title in 1944. His career, though, was short-lived as his condition soon started catching up to him. Tillet passed away from cardiovascular disease in 1944. The French angel lives on both true movies like Shrek and his legacy in the wrestling world. And with the incredible story of Maurice, it marks the end of the video, guys. I hope you enjoyed. I hope that I will see you again in my world. But until then, take care, guys.